I invite you to join alongside the quest of Devil's Head. Situated alongside the Ghost River of the Canadian Rockies, Devil's Head is a long, intimidating, and arduous ascent, consisting of danger rock falls and technical terrain. Devil's Head is exactly what an unexperienced person like myself should probably not attempt. This is how it all went down. And so begins the journey and the quest for Devil's Head. We initiate by leaving town and making our way to our chosen campsite. After numerous river crossings, we were to set up and camp overnight. Cell reception unavailable. We were to link up with two other members of our party, Austin and Xavier, later that evening at the designated rendezvous. We were to depart in the early tourists of the morning and begin the challenge. We'll load in at the beginning of the river crossings, the day before the quest of Devil's Head. Alright, Kankle Staker, let's go. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm gonna. Work. Oh, oh shit. God. No. Oh no. Oh man. Like a 
good enough. Here we got my head chopped off high range. बूटी के इनिशिएटिव Number nine, U.S. Department of Defense. I've never had an MRE before, because I always thought they're really shitty. So let's find out if this uh, also is really shitty. Mm, beef stew. Pretty dry. 
went for a swim. Yeah, I saw. Um, how do I record on your camera? I just want a video of Ben jumping in the water. This is terrible. It's recording. I was just recording me eating an MRE. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, need salt. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad, isn't it? Day, for, day three on those, though. Don't even... Uh... But it's, like, not that good, either. <laughs> you know? Do you know what else isn't that good? The beans and rice we cooked for Shambhala Music Festival. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. It was funny, like day four, Fabian was giving us the MREs and we were giving him the beans and rice. Yeah, this looks like, <laughs> trade, oh yeah! Trade the bad food for the other bad food, <laughs> just to mix it up a little bit. Oh, Fabian eating the oh, MREs was no. hilarious. Hiding the fact that this is garbage. Oh, uh, <laughs> steal your camera from you right now, hey? Go for it. The MRE? It's, eh, it's okay. The other parts were pretty fit. Ah, my camera! He's got carbon on his own.
split foreskin sausage can. Initiated. Why is this so bad? It looks so. It's like a reverse. That's so disturbing. Oh man. Maybe flip it upside. We went to sleep that night. Xavier and Austin were missing. Xavier was mean to sleep in Ben's tent and has no sleeping supplies. Austin did not have extra sleeping gear for Xavier. Xavier is by far our most experienced member. So, two members of our party weren't uh, didn't meet up last night. So. A couple of us have went to a secondary rendezvous to hopefully meet up with our experienced members who can help us on our hike. Oof. Good morning. It's a little chilly, but slept pretty nice. Oh, I love it out here. Oh, good, good. Where were they staying? Good, good. Where were they staying last night? Holy fuck. Like, with what? Uh, did he sleep? My god, that madman. There they are! <laughs> How you crew at Misfits doing? Yeehaw, partner! Xavier! You slept on the ground? Yeah. What the fuck? Did you sleep? I didn't do that. Oh man! Hop in the hammock, get a nap on! Oh my god! We did crossing too soon.
more river crossing to go, which is not bad. Devil's Head, Alberta. on it for a while. Uh, look at those little bristles. You see? Yeah. And you can just chew on it. And that helps. The, the action of like, chewing is in, it, in of itself a lot of what will in your teeth because the salivation Right, yeah. Just helps wash your mouth. Of course. But you just chew on one of these for a few hours or whatever. It just really helps. Where? Okay. In countries where they use chewing sticks have a lot cleaner teeth on average than the countries where we use plastic Really? They call it miswap. So you can't just chew on it. Yeah, you chew on it and you can even like use it as use a brush. Yeah, because like that's that. what I've been doing. It's all just what your teeth are feeling. Yeah. Don't, don't go too hard. No? You know, it's, uh, it's harder than a regular toothbrush. Right. It's kind of nice though. On the gum. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Water, food. Oh, nice flowers. Somewhat, it's a lot easier here, so I recommend. Ew. That way. Going around. Really nice because these super dry winds keep that moisture in. Prevents that dehydration from something. Alright, so while the wind destroys your ear holes, we got a special guest in the studio or bedroom here today, and that's Ben. If you've been wondering where is Ben and what he's up to during this hike, he's at the base camp keeping everything safe. We gave him a radio to keep in touch with us, but it kind of didn't work very often. Here's Ben with the weather. Okay, Ben, I would just like to ask you, how was your experience at camp while we were ascending this strange thing? Hammering <laughs> 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 up oh, Let me tell you about that, James. I spent the entire time blazed on top of the blazer listening to Disney soundtracks staring at the sky yeah that was pretty much it <laughs> also fucking paranoid about bears yeah I was going to ask were you afraid at any point during this trip oh yeah 
<laughs> it was weird because like I was staring at these cliff tops that are you know directly from the the truck, and I'm seeing faces in them, and then I hear you know nothing but Hasvenya <laughs> or however that goes. <laughs> so you were afraid of bear attacks, right? Bear attacks. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Oh, nice gourd. <laughs> Isn't it? Like, what is it? It's a gourd. It's a water holder. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's like, it's like a it looks like a really heavy, not useful water bottle. It's kind of like a pumpkin. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like it's an actual like fruit or squash or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, it's like a squash. It's it's lighter than plastic. Can I feel it? Yeah, it holds more than an algae and it's lighter. Can I feel this it? This is like a liter and a half. I would just worry about cracking it. Fuck. I love it. I need one. I it just need it. really, really well. I well, just need to make a, a proper like carrier size. Like, net type thing. Yeah. Like, Wait, why should they Maybe something that's like gently padded? So it just... <laughs> I don't know how... Slime against the rock by mistake. <laughs> Pavlov's farts. <laughs> My right. is starting to feel a little bit bummy from last week's thing, but as long as I get up and down this, then I'm fine. But we have to go up this. That's horrible. It's literally that. Come upon the left side Not of Devil's me. Head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. You can see mountains up there. <laughs> Sorry, where? In Bolivia. Brian, I can smell your fart. Oh. It smells stinky. Oh. <laughs> oh, it really does.
Oh wow, we just got an important phone call from Ben again. Uh, Ben, real quick. How was the car ride on the back of the Blazer on the way towards the campsite? I tell you, I haven't had that much fun in a long time. Except my when my ass hit the, the tire and I felt all my organs suddenly shoot up through my throat. Um, if you had a colostomy bag, would you have used it to keep your shit together? <laughs> you bet I would. Uh... Cool. Uh, you managed to make it for, through episode one. Good job. Uh, episode two and three are really cool with some pretty crazy, scary stuff that happened. So click that and also like subscribe because it helps me out. So uh, yeah, goodbye. Watch episode two, please.